To import an audio clip into your session, click Session Import at the top left or press Ctrl I. You'll then be greeted with this window. Here you can navigate to the folder your audio files are located and select the ones you want to import. You can audition your audio clips before you import them by pressing the play button here or by ticking the autoplay box which will play each sample every time you click on it. If you know there are samples that should be there but you can't see them in the list, click on this menu because there is a chance that you might only be showing MIDI files instead of audio files. These other options are quite useful, but we don't need to worry about them right now. So once you've selected the clips you want to add, click Import. As you can see, Ardor has made a new track for each audio clip and placed them at the start of the session. Keep in mind that a lot of samples are recorded in stereo, so if you place them on a mono audio track, then you will only hear one channel at a time. Now that we have an audio clip in our session, we can use the edit tools to play around with it. You can use grab mode to move it around, range mode to select a certain part of it, cut mode to slice through it, audition to play it, the speed tool to speed it up or slow it down, the draw tool to draw automation points for the volume, and the edit tool to edit existing volume points. Once you've had a play around, switch back to grab mode. Clicking and dragging on the edges of your audio clip will allow you to make it shorter or longer. If you zoom in to the start or the end of your audio clip by using control with the scroll wheel, you can see these small gray squares appear at the corner of the clip. Click and drag these to add a small crossfade to the audio clip. This can come in handy when you're doing some quick and dirty audio editing or if you need to clean up a vocal take without hearing a pop every time the clip starts. Now onto MIDI editing. Once you've created a MIDI track, use the draw tool to create an empty MIDI region. If you click and drag on the bottom edge of the track, you can expand it to see the track's piano roll. Now that you've created an empty MIDI region, this piano roll is how you create notes to play melodies and chords. With the draw tool selected, clicking will make a MIDI note with its length based on your grid snap parameter, and clicking and dragging will allow you to change the length of this note while it's created. If you want to select and edit existing MIDI notes or delete them, then go into internal edit mode. Now you can click on notes individually or drag a box around a few of them to make bulk edits. If you want to save a few wrist movements from switching tools all the time, then holding down control will allow you to create notes in edit mode. All the other edit mode tools work exactly the same with MIDI clips as they do with audio clips. So grabbing allows you to move it around, range allows you to select a different part of the clip, cut allows you to trim it at certain points, audition allows you to listen to it, and the speed tool allows you to lengthen or shorten it. Keep in mind that Ardor doesn't currently play truncated MIDI notes, which means that if you cut a MIDI region or try start the playhead while you're in the middle of a MIDI note, it won't actually play anything. Feel free to have a play around with some audio samples and MIDI instruments. Then we can take a look at the mixer.